Skylight. The Skylight tool is used to create daylight. And the effect that it has is it creates a daylight through a skylight. And so let's take a look at how this works. Um, we're going to go up into our command panel. Go to create. We're going to pick on our lights button. We're going to pick on the standard drop down. And we're going to go to skylight. And we will place a skylight in with a click of our mouse. And it puts the skylight in. Now, the skylight has some parameters. I can turn it on or off. So when I turn it off, it's dark in the room. Turn it on, I got some sunlight coming through the skylight. I can set the multiplier up for the intensity. Um, don't really need to do that. Generally, we'll keep the sun as bright enough. I can change the sky color. So I can pick on this and I come in here and set whatever color sky that I want. So I can set, you know, if it's got a glow in the evening kind of thing or a bluish color. So I can come in here and pick the amount of saturation I really want here. And so I'll pick a bluish color. And you can see now we, I'll run a rendering. And it, it's got a bluish tint to it over here. Now, so I can choose the sky. If I want to go back, I'll make it all white, right? It's 255 and all my three primary colors. Now I'm white again. I could put a map in. And the map is usually checked on and it's a hundred it's a hundred is the the rollout amount. I pick on the none to pick a map. I can go and pick different types. I'll pick on a smoke. Um, give it kind of a wispy, cloudy look through the light. And maybe a hundred might be a little too much, so I'll cut it down. I'll cut it down to twenty. And then I'll run a rendering and you can see a little bit of smoke pattern in here so if I kick it up a lot let's say to 100 and then run the smoke pattern you'll see what I mean yeah it's got way too much now uh, the clouds don't give that much of effect but a small amount let's say around 20 just so you can see it a little better yeah then I get a little bit of swirling effect from the clouds through through here um, but I could actually have a, a map of clouds or whatever and drop it in here. It's a, um, so I can turn that on and off if I need it to. And I can have it cast shadows. So I can turn this on and have it cast shadows. And so I can have both on and run a rendering. And when I render, I will get some shadows. And remember, the light is coming in from above. So I get the shadows on the, on the bottom side of the tea, uh, the teapot area. And uh, so I can set the number of rays per sample. The higher, the more calculations. The ray bias, bias is the closest distance to an object that we can project shadow. So we don't want to be, you know, um, we don't want to be right up against it and creating shadows.